My name is Lindsay Kuzmerzak. I'm the Color Guard Director at Prosper High School in Prosper, Texas, just north of Dallas. Great. So you guys just finished your prelims run. You've got, you just started a really long tour. I think it's like nine days long and at the end of the road, it's Grand Nationals. How'd that prelims run feel out there? It was great. You know, we got up uh, at about five o'clock this morning. The kids got to the school. We got on the buses. We stopped at Bucky's like we always are supposed to. And uh, we got here in enough time to get dressed, get our stuff, go to warm up, come out of warm up, get on the field. So. You know, you never kind of know with that how quickly that process goes, if it's going to be successful or not. But we think that they had a pretty great prelims run, so Good. feeling great about it. Yeah, how did, what did you think about the, you know, the stuff you guys have been working on over the last couple of weeks? Did that show up today? And, and what are you guys looking forward to? Um, well, let's just start there. Um, we've worked a lot on tempos, making sure that we, you know, keep, keep it moving. Uh, you know, making sure everything's fitting together, that the band's playing together, what it's like in a dome, and when you hear that echo, and making sure that nothing tears and that we're staying together, and they did a great job of that today. Um, on the color guard side of things, we're just making sure that we spin together, which is something that we've been really kind of locking into in the past couple weeks. So um, we put our part five on right before our area contest, which was last weekend, and we're just trying to make sure that all that looks like it's been there forever, and uh, the kids are doing great. Yeah, yeah. So you, you just watched the prelims run. Do you already have things going on in your head that, like, we need to fix this, fix this. Absolutely, what, what, can yeah. Can you tell me about that? We, every time something happens, like, oh, we need to work on that. Okay, we need to work on that. So we make our mental checklist as we go through watching the show. Uh, we have a rehearsal tomorrow because we'll be here next week for UIL State. And uh, so we just kind of went through that and like, okay, this needs, this needs some touching still. This needs some cleaning still. Just to make sure that everything comes across a little more crisp in a couple of areas. Most of the timing stuff. Yes, yeah. always timing stuff, sure, yeah. Sure. So let's get into it a little bit about what this trip actually is. Did it start today or did it start yesterday? Started Well, last night we had a, an away football game, so we did our performance last night. We got to leave at halftime. Thank you to Dr. Watkins, our superintendent. Uh, then we uh, loaded everything in the parking lot at the away game. And, and then we got on the buses, the kids went back to the school, they got home, they made sure everything was packed, maybe got some sleep. Uh, maybe the directors got some sleep. Everybody got back to the school at five this morning, and that's the start of the, the nine days. So uh, after this, we have a little bit of downtime tomorrow. We go uh, into rehearsal tomorrow night. Then we have UIL on Monday, hopefully Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, we go back home. Wednesday, we show back up at the school to go to the airport at about 11 o'clock. Uh, we leave the school to go to, uh, catch a plane, two planes, uh, to Indianapolis. Uh, and then we go on first at prelim. So uh, when the, this whole kind of scheme came together, it was you know a late entry, so that means that we get to go in first. So we're excited about that. We're ready to do it. We have enough downtime in between that we feel confident that we're going to do have a great prelims run and enjoy this whole experience. Sure, sure. Yeah, it's a long experience. Too. It is. It is. It's something, but it's something that we've uh, having done it last year. It really helped us set the groundwork for kids to know how to tell the freshman class or the new kids that came into the school like what it was going to be. So last year was really hard and really exhausting and we didn't get a lot of downtime. So this will be, well, we're pros now kind of, at least the, at least to our second year in. So we know kind of what we're getting ourselves into. Right, right. Um, I'm curious of, you know, looking at it from an educator and an instructor's perspective, how do you like weigh up your expectations as far as BOA San Antonio, then you've got UIL State Contest, and then Grand Nationals right after. Three of the biggest marketing events in the, in the country. So for us, we are, I guess, kind of just hoping to be in the conversation. Uh, you know, we are expecting to hopefully do well competitively. You know, the hope is to make finals at every event, you know, and if that doesn't happen, understanding why and being able to talk about that so that we don't uh, get stuck in that and we move to the next thing. You know, just being able to take this on and what it takes for the program and the school and the kids and the parents uh, and our administration to be able to do this in and of itself is kind of already a success. So, you know, um, Mr. Alstern, our band director, says that it's a, a hundred day project that starts like in April. So this is really just the end of it. You know, the hard work came all before this. This is kind of the, the reward at the end. So whatever happens, it's great because they get this experience to be competitive nationally, whatever that means. And you know, that's all we want for them the exposure to that and to understand what other people are doing and that's great too and to celebrate each other and celebrate ourselves and be a part of something greater than just what we do in our little town. Yeah, awesome. I'm, I'm curious of how the kids have kind of, I'm sure they're so excited for this entire experience, but I'm, I'm curious of how they're doing now. They're into it and now they're having to deal with it. 
what, how are they handling this now that they're actually, you know, in it? Yeah. yeah. Well, in the past week, we've had a lot of sickness. So we've actually had a lot of kids out uh, during rehearsals this week. So we've had to kind of battle with that. Everybody got on the bus. Everybody has their medicine. Everybody has, we have all these face masks that all the kids are traveling with that a parent got for us. So, you know, I think they're just, just trying to be in it enough and still recover a little bit. So it's kind of, you know, we're throwing all this at them. We're doing all this traveling and they're all sick. So we're hoping that it doesn't spread and that they do okay with it. Yeah. Um, but I think for the most part, they, I think they're ready for it to be the end, you know, because they've done all that work to get to this place. They're ready for the reward of that. They're ready to make sure that all their grades are still good before the end of the semester, after that too. So, you know, I think it's it's celebratory for them. And I think they, I think they want to do well when it comes to the competition side of things. I mean, I'd be lying to say that we wouldn't want to try to be successful, but success is just, you know, determined by how well we do. And if we have a performance like that, you know, for the next four that we get or five or whatever it is, they'll be happy with what they do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.